Good, right. thank you, my dear. How are you? On air. The last one. Yeah, just for you guys, we have to keep you guys out of the station since it's still close to the public. So. Yeah. Three, three of us are going to go on there. Oh, man. Someone does have a machine, I'm going to pull this in. So, were you guys working tonight, or did you keep working on coming in on your Saturday night off? Well, this, this whole oh, motley group here is all part of part time for. Well, thank you for coming in on your night off. I got volunteered. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Before we start, before you guys hate me at the end of this, I just really, really want to thank you for coming out and doing this. I'll take it, it's all good. Ready? Ready. Okay, thumbs up. Can you tell me, I guess, uh, what happened today? Yeah, so Coburg Fire really stepped up this year. Uh, thank you to Jack Dillon for organizing everything. We had about 12 guys do the walk. Um, they did 12 laps around the fire department here, and they did the complete mile. Um, and they didn't even complain too much, which was great. 
wearing the bunker gear and some of them wearing the breathing apparatus, mm -hmm. it looked tiring just watching. It did, and so I've seen, you know, guys not do the walk very well and be in a lot of pain without all of that gear, so I was pretty impressed, and it's a warm evening, so, um, yeah, they, they really stepped up and, and did a great job for Cornerstone. Is this one of the last ones? So this is the last one of today. Uh, we've been all over the county for the, the over the last week. We've had walks all over the place. Um, lots yeah. of people emailing their pictures in. Some people as far as Marmara, Apsley, um, some at the cottage in Muskoka. So we've had lots of different walks around the county and beyond. Um, this is our last one tonight. Tell me about your thoughts on this, you know, going into it. It's a different year to say the least, but I mean, uh, you don't know what you're in for with uh, fundraising efforts and all that stuff. But tell me, has, uh, has the community responded? The community has responded exactly like we thought they would. They, you know, we put out the call. We weren't sure how it would go as it is a very different year for everybody right now. Um, and they have, this community is so incredible and they have really stepped up for Cornerstone. Um, and we're excited to see the total fundraised efforts and we should have that by Monday afternoon. Tell me uh, how you came up with this idea. So we participated last year. Um, I just saw the fundraising initiative going around online and we only had two participants last year, unfortunately, with uh, scheduling in the summer. So this year around with COVID and everything, a lot more people are home, so we were able to get some more guys out. Um, took a little bit of badgering to get everyone uh, to participate, but obviously from our result here, we have lots of big smiles and lots of uh, funds raised for a good cause. Hardest part? Uh, lap 10 through 12. We're definitely the, the tricky ones. You lose feeling in your feet, and then when it comes back, it's strong and sharp. You were wearing the air pack? Yes. Tell me how that was. Was it a different sort of hook to it? Uh, yeah, it was. Last year I wasn't wearing the air pack, but a little bit of extra weight um, definitely didn't help. But, you know, gives it a bit more fun for, for the guys, a little more motivating. Would you do it again? 100%. We'll be, we'll be back in again next year, hopefully, with more guys, and we'll make a big, uh, big show of it for sure. Hold on.